Oh, yeah, you can totally game on a Mac. Oh, more? Okay, um, well, that's actually two questions, so let's break it down a little bit. That actually, can you game on a Mac in the sense, can you game on OS X? Yeah, you can totally game on OS X. There's some decent amount of stuff to do there. The other question is, can you game on a Mac in the sense that you're running Windows and you're trying to get a little bit more serious? That's still a yes, but it's a little bit more of a tentative yes. So why don't we start with OS X? So on OS X, the library of titles isn't the greatest. It's, it's decent though. There's a lot of stuff that you can play now, believe it or not. There are some decently large titles and there's a ton, ton of indie titles. Thanks to a lot of things like the Humble Indie Bundle, Apple's own gaming efforts, and most importantly, the swath of third-party frameworks that developers can use now that'll run on multiple platforms like Unity and Game Maker. Thanks to all those things and a handful of others, the Mac is actually now home to a pretty healthy sampling of the best that gaming has to offer in this day and age. If you're running any model of MacBook Pro, even if you're running one of the higher end MacBooks, you should be okay for gaming on your Mac in OS X. A lot of the stuff that you can play isn't really all that intensive. In worst case scenario, you can just dial down the resolution and keep the frame rate at, at a reasonable level. There's a lot of stuff that you can play. So if you're just looking for a place to be able to play some games, not necessarily start to get serious, then you should be just fine. If you are looking to get serious and you're trying to crank up those textures, crank up the resolution, crank up the frame rate, then running on OS X is probably not going to be the right move. If that is what you're looking for, let's take you to boot camp. Bootcamp on a Mac works beautifully. You can install a handful of extra drivers. For example, if you have an older model of MacBook Pro like I do, you can install the drivers for CUDA, which you actually fairly can do on the Mac as well. But on the PC, you have a lot more support from the bigger AAA titles. If you're looking to play Assassin's Creed, if you're looking to play something from that needs to be downloaded from EA Origin or something like that, those bigger, bigger titles, you're gonna need to play them on Windows. They just don't get built for the Mac. And if you are playing them on Windows, then you're going to want to be able to have the control over the machine that you're using. And that's where a Mac starts to fall flat. There's no expandability. So even if you have a great iMac or a phenomenal MacBook Pro, it's going to have a timer associated with it for how long it's even going to be good for. Eventually, you're going to get obsolete equipment and you're going to need to buy newer stuff. And you just can't do that on a Mac. I'm running a late 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina and that thing has inside of it an NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M with just a meager two gigs of VRAM. So this isn't a lot in this day and age, but I'm still totally able to play things like Heroes of the Storm. I can play uh, other MOBAs. Uh, MOBAs are in general pretty difficult to render when there's a lot of stuff going on and you do need to be able to keep up with what's happening on screen. So I can play things like that. I can run Magic Online. I can play the newest Assassin's Creed game at a reasonable frame rate. It, it doesn't make my experience that bad. Let's put it that way. And because I know that some of you are going to ask, yes, Parallels is an option, but it's really not a good one. And I don't consider it a serious option in this scenario because there's no way that running two OSs, virtualizing one of them, is gonna give you the best performance out of a game that you need to run on Windows. So yes, absolutely, you can virtualize in Parallels. And if it's some sort of lightweight game that only runs in Windows, sure, you can get away with doing it. But if you're looking for gaming, you're looking for performance, that's just not the way to get it. What I do is I have a bootcamp partition and since the newest version of Parallels supports virtualizing from your bootcamp partition, I just use it for convenience. If I need to pop into Windows for something to change a setting in OBS or need to install an update or update a driver, whatever, whatever, and then that way I don't have to reboot just to do a small little menial task. But I would not recommend playing games in Parallels. So let's answer this question once and for all. Can you game on a Mac? Well, the answer ultimately, like I said at the beginning of the video, is yes, you absolutely can. The question you really need to ask yourself is, are you a filthy casual like me? If you're a filthy casual, you're gonna be just fine. Play Hearthstone, play Heroes of the Storm, play Minecraft, play whatever it is that gets your goat. But if you're looking to get serious with outputting to a 4K monitor, you're looking to get a graphics card that can handle outputting, high resolution gaming footage without dropping a single frame, then the Mac is not gonna be your best solution. But like I said, if you're just looking to have some fun, then the Mac's got your back. 
What do you guys think? Do you have a Mac that you play on at home? Let me know what model, let me know what graphics card you've got in there. If it's an AMD, I really want to know if it's performing for you at a reasonable pace. For me, I know that I'm looking to get a PC as soon as possible for home for my own streaming purposes. So I can tell you right now that if you're looking to get real, real serious, the PC is the right choice. But like I said, you can totally get the job done on the Mac. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be kind to one another and I'll catch you in the next video. I said video twice there. That was weird.